and welcome to Mystical Adventures. My name is Anne Vivian. I hope you had a Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Been a bit of a been a bit of a COVID Christmas, hasn't it? The numbers are up and I don't even want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it, but that is one dimension of reality happening right now. So I hope that you are safe, my friend, and I hope that you are well. And we're all moving through this crazy time together, aren't we? Oh my goodness. COVID infections are up in uh, my state and states of um, my family down south and some other people I know all over the country are are dealing with either infections themselves or family members and it's this year has been a journey hasn't it and here we are at the end of this year and it's not boring you can't say it's boring so welcome to my show. We're going to talk about the end of the year and end of the year review. I have a channeled message from Archangel Jeremio, whose name I may be horribly mispronouncing, but that's how I'm going to say it tonight. It's the best research I could do on how to actually pronounce it correctly. Archangel Jeremio is the Archangel of Life Review, and he is so powerful and helpful for helping us to take stock of our life, to take account, to be able to assess where we are and make changes as needed moving forward. And he is going to assist us in wrapping up this year. I know a lot of us are just wanting to just let go. Don't even, don't even remind me of this year or the past couple of years. And I just want to let it go, bury it, escape and move on to a brighter future. But for those of us who are brave enough or in the mood or crazy enough to take a look at the past year, we're going to do that in tonight's show and I'm gonna have a little exercise where we can, we can do that. So, whew, how has your week been? How are you doing, my friend? My body is letting me know I need to get back on some healthy eating and back to my routine after all of the holiday festivities and pleasures and delicious food. It's time to, time to recenter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a few Oracle and tarot cards for the week ahead, the week of December 28th, 2021. I am going to relay the channeled message from this archangel for our week ahead. And then we're going to do a mini exercise and I'm going to take a call. Yes, I'm going to fit it all in. So I have to pace myself. Here we go, Anne. You can do it. All right. Ooh, this card just fell out. We've got King of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and Six of Wands for cards for this upcoming week. December 28th, 2021. I feel there's like there's a lot of energy swirling around and a lot of us are going to find that it's grounding. This is a card of grounding. A lot of us are going to find it's grounding with that Knight of Pentacles energy to take a moment, take a breath, take a beat to just center ourselves, reflecting on the past year, reflecting on this in-between time. I feel there is, there's still a lot of celebration and holiday good cheer mixed with some global concerns in the collective this week. But I feel like the, the guidance from the tarot is to remember not to over internalize what's happening in the collective and to tune into your own intuition king of cups tune into your own wisdom and ability to be that leader that manager of your own life as you are compassionate with that cup energy towards those around you we've got wise one grow with your current situation and drum dream and journey so and this is from the angels and oracle excuse me angels and ancestors deck by kyle gray Let's tune into our wisdom. Let's let's have some wise reflection this week as we as we reflect on the year past and what we want to let go of, what do we want to create in 2022. 
and let's dream and journey. Maybe I want to talk today about doing a, a year review. You might want to look at your dream journal if you kept one, your journal, your calendar and your device or, or your day planner if you've written something and your social media, your pictures on your phone or device. Take a look back at this year, reflect, tune into your wise one, reflect and see what lessons and messages and meaning come to the surface. It's, it's also a time to be grateful, to great, be grateful for what we do have. And the angel card, divine plan, of course, because we're talking about divine plan today. Where are you in living your divine purpose, living your divine plan? And you've obviously made progress. You might not think so. You're here, so you've made progress. You're still, you're still with us. And you are still having this experience, hence you are growing. And there's more progress to be made. And I think it's really important to recognize both so that we have something to look forward to, so that we can grow and change. We can make course corrections, if you will. And also to feel that gratitude for what we've been given and what we've created, the hard work that we have invested in this past chapter. So those were your cards for the upcoming week. And remember, whenever you tune into the show, whenever you're hearing this message is the right and perfect time for you to hear the message of the cards and the, the spirit helper message that I've channeled. So don't worry about it if you're watching this, not the week of December 28th, 2021, but some other week. It still applies. The divine structure of the universe is helping you get the message at the perfect time. Archangel Jeremiel, I believe... Another name he goes by is Ramiel. And I've heard different people pronounce it in different ways. Tonight I'm going with Jeremiel. So this is a beautiful archangel associated with forgiveness. He's associated with life review. He's one of those angels who is known for helping souls cross over uh, to the other side. He also can help with prophetic abilities, psychic intuitive development and abilities. So pretty, pretty nice angel to get to know if you care to call on him. And he's always available, like all of the archangels. He has a message for us for the end of the year. And here is that message. This has been a year of many changes for those on earth. This has been a year of many surprises and twists of fate. The arms of the angels surround you now. Please remember now. Please remember this now and always. We're here to comfort you and to be of service as you transition to the new year. It is better to mark where you are now and take an account of those things you have accomplished and have yet to accomplish rather than waiting until the very end of this experience. Learn from the mistakes and also from the victories of this past year. Take time to let go and forgive all of those, including yourself, who weigh heavy on your heart. You are a soul with a sacred heart that beats with purity and light. Allow your heart to be light as you enter the new year by making amends with others, yourself, and the past. Take with you all the pride for all you've accomplished this year. Remember all the battles you have won and challenges you've overcome. The grief of the past year cannot be erased, but a new year awaits and there are angels reminding you of the new possibilities and miraculous new beginnings that await you on the other side in this new year. You were meant to be free and let go of the strife that binds you. Release old expectations or paradigms which are not true to your soul. Perhaps you realize this year which beliefs no longer resonate with you. In order to catch a shooting star, you must be ready to take flight. Lighten your load by imagining your true essence is shining through. And all the old energy from the past, all the old things you are carrying that are no longer helpful, now fall away, leaving you light and free. This is the, man, the message I channeled from Archangel Jeremiel for this week of December 28, 2021. We are in the in betwixt in between state of the end of the year and the beginning of the new one and i want to ask you my friend how do you feel about this past year are you wanting to pretend this year didn't happen 
there's been a lot of collective trauma and political upheaval, upheaval, but also a lot of love and progress and expansion, <clears throat> excuse me, and beautiful experiences collectively and with individuals. Perhaps you are wanting to cherish those things. Perhaps you had a very complex year. I know I did a very complex year of ups and downs and, and dark moments and moments of exuberant exuberance and am I making up this word exuberance <laughs> jubilant exuberance and joy and I certainly had some incredible spiritual awakenings and beautiful experiences of creativity and love and I also had moments of darkness and fear and dismay and how was this year for you? Whatever kind of year you had, it might be really helpful to take time and do that review that Jeremy Jeremiel was talking about. If you have a journal or any kind of record from 2021, it might be cool to review it. I'm going to guide us through this very quick little visualization you can do now. And you don't have to review your journal um, or any kind of record you have from 2021. It might be helpful if you wanted to pause the recording and do that. If you're watching this show after the fact or go back and, and do this uh, guided meditation after you've reviewed, but you can go ahead and do it now. And when you look at your journal or, or calendar or phone device with, with images or posts or whatever kind of records from the past year, just notice what pops out at you. Just thinking about the past year in your memory, what pops out at you? What was significant for this year? What was the most challenging thing for you this year? What was the most, um, what was a blessing for you this year? So let's just take a deep breath, ground and center. <sighs> just getting comfortable in our seat or whatever you're sitting or lying on. I recommend you don't do guided meditations as you're driving. For obvious reasons. Just imagine your body is now relaxing. You're taking a few more deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I want you to imagine that this past year of 2021, this past year of 2021 is a ball of energy in front of you being held by Archangel Jeremiel. And you and Jeremiel set your intention for the most important memories and lessons to surface now. See them surface as images or symbols from that ball of energy before you. You may see or feel or have a sense of these symbols and images most important memories and lessons from 2021. There's no right or wrong answer. And if you don't get anything specific, that's okay. It might just be a feeling. Notice what you feel in your body as you remember these. Notice the meaning they hold for you, be it happy, sad, or something more complex, and just witness these feelings. Allow Archangel Jeremiel to point out important themes, meanings, or lessons from this past year. What are important meanings or lessons for you to take? into the new year. See how he transformed these as sparkles of light, which are now a part of you. What new experiences do you want to have in the new year? What changes do you want to make? Feel these as sparkles that pop up around you. And allow your heart to dream of the possibilities. These sparkles stay with you in your aura and you know that you are 
carrying both these dreams for the new year and the important lessons and, and energies and meaning from the past year. Go ahead and thank Archangel Jeremiel for this healing journey today. You can see him recede in the distance. Let's take a few more deep breaths. <sighs> Another deep breath. Remember, you can call on him or any of the angels at any time. And you can ask for assistance in understanding what you need to know right now, what you need to let go of, how you need to change in order to enact your divine plan. And wiggle your fingers and toes, come back to this space. I hope that was a helpful healing journey for you. I'd now like to switch gears and I believe we have a caller on the line. I'd like to take my lovely caller. I think it's Laura from Massachusetts. Yes. Hi, Laura. Welcome Hi. to my show. This is Ann Vivian speaking. How may I help you tonight? Um, I think I have two questions. My husband was um, admitted to hospital last night or yesterday, and I wanted to make sure he's doing okay because I can't see him because of COVID. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to hear it. So he's in the hospital right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, well, I don't, um, I'm not a doctor and I don't give diagnoses. I, I'm not a medical professional. I don't give diagnoses, but I can tune into the energy and, and let you know what, what I'm sensing and what messages come through. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is, this is a hard time for many, isn't it? Laura, I'm really mm -hmm. sorry to hear it. Let me, let me just tune in your energy. So just be a moment of silence. Okay. Okay. Well, Laura, just as I tune into your, your energy and the energy of the situation, I feel um, I feel like a little bit of your confusion, like this sort of caught you off guard. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I feel your husband's energy that he, does, he feels low energy right now, um, to be sure. But I also feel like husband, he is, um, he's got this strength to him and he um, he's definitely not letting this, you know, um, this turn of events take him down spiritually or okay. emotionally or energetically. Um, he's, um, he's got a, a powerful mind is what I'm sensing and like a strong will. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and this is so powerful, you know, when it comes to just body, mind, spirit, health and well being. And so I feel like, you know, spirit wants to recognize that and wants to remind you that first of all, he is, a very um, strong and capable individual, and he's not about to just, you know, um, give up or, or um, you know, about to let go or anything like that. Um, so, yeah. so yeah, I'm tuning into to him and your energy and and his energy right now. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like you are very intuitive and spiritual, Laura, and I feel like you're. Um, the, the prayers and intentions that you have sent personally and have called on are around him right now and are surrounding him. And okay. it is making a difference, if that makes sense. Yeah. I feel, yes, I feel he's feeling your love and mm -hmm. he knows that you really want to be with him and that you are yeah. with him in spirit, even though you're not able to be with him now. Have you like sent him? I feel like he has something physical around him um, that is reminding him of your love, like flowers or something like, or just some kind of I, thing you sent him. I actually sent him a charger for his phone. <laughs> oh, okay. I a charger delivered to him. <laughs> well, he's really appreciating that, and he's feeling your love from that, that being around him. I feel like, okay. you know, one way you might be able to connect with him is if you send him something else, you know, something that he can hold or touch or smell that would remind him of your presence. Okay. 
Um, I think that would be comforting to him right now. But I feel like Spirit um, is saying, um, you are surrounded by angels right now, Laura, and your husband is surrounded by angels right now. And it's so important not to not to give in to the worry or the, um, you know, the fear. You know, anyone would be feeling worried or fearful, but I feel like Spirit wants to comfort you and let you know this is in, in God's hands and spirit hands. And you and your husband are being surrounded by divine love and protection. And okay. the best thing that you can do right now is to remind yourself that it's better not to let your mind go to the, the fears and the worries. It's better to focus on hope, focus on the present moment and focus on your faith and what gives you strength right now. Um, mm -hmm. cause I feel like there's just a lot of strength in the situation. And, yeah. um, I feel like, you know, there's, um, there's a lot of healing around your husband. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's, he's really receptive to whatever treatment they're giving him in the hospital. Not only, you know, receptive mentally, but he's receptive emotionally and energetically and that he's okay. going to receive um, a lot of healing. So I feel like there's a lot of reasons to be hopeful here. And okay. I feel like, you know, like I said, I'm not a doctor. I don't diagnose, but right. I feel like there right. is a healing occurring and, you know, spirit is just wanting you to let go of some of this worry and, and focus on your faith and your knowledge that everything is working out exactly as it is supposed to. Okay. Yeah, just, I I got a surgery coming up too. <laughs> so I'm like nervous. Like I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like nervous about everything. Like it's the two of us together. I'm like, oh my God, why is he sick now? And like, I don't want him to feel like the stress of that coming up and you know, that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Like what, in my mind. Boy, you got a perfect timing, right? You got a lot on your plate. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Like when I'm is your when surgery. is your surgery coming up? Next week, you said. <laughs> two weeks. Um, okay. Fourteenth. Two weeks. Yeah. So it's like I don't want him to be stressing over getting better quick enough to get it. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm I'm more worried about him worrying. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. You know. Well, I yeah. I mean I'm so. hearing you don't need to worry about this, and I'm okay. hearing that. Um, You'll, I feel like you'll be able to, to tag team what, whatever is happening and you're going to have the support you need. And, um, it's, it, I feel like, um, spirit is saying there's a lot more support in this situ situation than you even realize. And, you know, okay. Laura, when we, when we open it, you know, sometimes we have these, these human experiences of, of seeing dark things and obstacles and you know understandably it causes us to worry that's normal and yeah. i feel like you know spirit is is reminding me to remind you Laura, that we can shift to our higher consciousness to our super consciousness that part of our mind that part of our our heart consciousness that's connected with spirit with god and to be able to shift to that you have to let go of your rational mind and you have to be able to shift to more of that spiritual super consciousness, which is beyond logic and it's beyond maybe what our human mind can solve. And I feel one of these, this is one of those opportunities for you, my friend, to transcend from, I don't understand how this is going to work out. I'm about to have my surgery. I'm worried about my husband to let me just let this go to my angels and spirit and affirm that the everything is going to fall into place. Let me use my spiritual practice of aligning with my highest and greatest thoughts and intentions and prayers possible and letting go to my higher power. And when we do that, you know, we have these transcendent experiences of getting intuitions, of being guided, being moved, being led to the right solution and the right place and and that inspired action which will be most helpful and i feel like as you do this laura you're going to shift into that divine plan which was a card that popped up earlier in, in today's show and you'll be able to just intuitively 
understand um, what what the best course of action for you is. I pulled the moon okay. card. Take note okay. of intuitive messages, and you know I'm tuning into you. You are a spiritual person, and I feel like you are intuitive and and um, using your your intuitive spiritual consciousness right now in this situation. Mm -hmm. And I feel spirit is reminding you to use that intuition and, and let go of the, the logical worry mind right now and follow your okay. intuition for what might be the best approach. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think that's um, what I just need to be told to like, let it go. It's okay. I think it's going to be fine. You know? Yes. Yes. Head. <laughs> and, and that can be your mantra that you, that you say to yourself. And, you know, as you're using this as a, even a learning experience, you know, I pulled elder move beyond ancestral patterns. It can help you to use, use a more functional, um, more helpful approach to dealing with, with crises.